Hey, this is Michael with Digital T-Shirt Shop. So I, this last week, you saw I probably posted a few uh, videos of the doTERRA convention. Well, so what I did is I actually went to the doTERRA convention and took some T-shirts that I thought would, some would kind of be fun for people who love oils and some would be like, yeah, I'm not going to wear that because I'm serious about my oils. Well, I'm not serious about oils. So here's my first image right here. Oh, your arm was hacked off. It's okay. I have an oil for that. I thought that was actually pretty funny. It reminds me when I lived in New York and it seemed like, uh, I think they actually emphasized this on um, my big fat Greek wedding where you use uh, Windex on everything. Windex will fix everything. Uh, New York, a coat of paint will fix everything. In the oil world, essential oils, oil will fix everything, even a hacked off arm. Uh, let's see, what do I have here? Why the hell is my oil not working? <laughs> well, I think it's pretty funny, actually. Um, but for those people who <laughs> are told that it's going to fix some sort of ailment, uh, I've kind of, when I've joked about essentials, essential oils, I've always kind of thought along the lines of uh, snake oil just a little bit, you know, the old uh, elixirs and things like that that were sold in the 17 and 1800s as remedies for all things. Uh, I'm sure some of them worked when they were used right, but, uh, you know, oils as well, some of them work when they're used right. Uh, but there can be quite a bit of skepticism about them. Some call it snake oil. I call it essential oils. Come along the same lines. My essential oil is bacon. Now, I was supposed to write grease on it, bacon grease, uh, but I got my essential oil is bacon. I might go, I might go redo it and put grease on there. Um, let's see, I gotta delete these as I go along so that I close them out of Photoshop here. Let's see, we did my arm. Oh, this was my arm, so the other was your arm. Kind of like your arm better than my arm. So, uh, MOGA, make oils great again. <laughs> For, you know, those who uh, just got to tie everything into politics, right? Um, Jesus used essential oils. Now, <laughs> uh, I don't, I usually try not to tie Jesus into things, but um, frankincense <laughs> it was an oil. I know in the New Testament, people bought expensive oils and used them on him and stuff. Well, he used essential oils. Uh, I thought it was kind of funny. Christian people probably like that. Uh, it's okay. I have an oil for that, and that slash goes right across your gut. So you got some, like, mortal wound going on there. Uh, it's not the occult. It's essential oils. <laughs> so... Uh, you know, I don't know. I It's funny because like my wife and kids had these real severe allergy issues for a while. And we started going to this uh, chiropractor that dealt with like these auras. And I think he used some oils and stuff together with it as well. But it was kind of funny because he was like, he'd like sit there and like sitting next to this aura or field, magnetic field or things like that, or doing some sort of weird thing just, just would seem to take away the allergies, the specific allergies that somebody had. And uh, it was kind of funny. It, funny, funny thing is, is it seemed to really work. You had to keep going, but it seemed to really work. Uh, and with these, you know, people can mistake some of the quirky things in the world, but this would make a great Halloween shirt as well. So uh, thinking about the witch making a concoction or a brew of some sort using her essential oils. It's not a spell, it's essential oils. Uh, is there an essential oil that gets you to stop talking about essential oils? Now, this is pretty common. I saw this all over the internet uh, saying, but um, common saying, uh, you know, for the people who get frustrated by hearing about it over and over and over again. I'm bleeding from my brain. It's okay, I have an oil for that. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things you could tie into that. I just looked at my blend and realized I'm bat. I'm a bat's eye and a pinch of toadstool away from being a witch. I thought that was actually really funny. I don't do black magic. I blend oils. That'd probably go good with like a witch's hat or something like that, or a cauldron as well. 
Essential oils, do they work? Do you have any dice? We'll roll and see. Did someone say fake oils with the Donald Trump pair there? I actually thought that was pretty funny. So one of the people who wouldn't go on camera the other day when I was there, I gave her actually one of these shirts, and she actually just busted up laughing. She thought it was hilarious. Uh, and her friends came over, and they're like, what's that? And she showed them, and they thought it was hilarious. I wish I would have been able to put it on film, but, again, they didn't want to be on. So, uh, But I was glad to get a rise out of them. So it's probably the best reaction I got all day was from her. So, And the last one, blending oils makes me feel like I'm at Hogwarts. And I was actually looking for a Harry Potter font. but And there's probably a few things you could do like that with the... Uh, or maybe take off Hogwarts and put a pair of Harry Potter glasses or something like that. So um, anyways, but there you go. That's what we did. We made some oil shirts. We went and tried to give some of them out. And uh, we'll get these put on our website. It might take a, a day or two. I've just been swamped with some other things. So I uh, hope you have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe to Digital T-Shirt Shop. Have a good day.